$43.83 on my grocery bill today at Aldi. I am loving all these. I am loving that they are having like a wide variety of products. I actually saw, I don't know if you guys have this in your Aldi, but they have like chicken salad already made up with cranberries in it and these little mini um, cup things. I wanted to buy some. They were only like a dollar and some change. I wanted to buy some, but I wasn't sure where they good. If you guys have tried those, it's called cranberry walnut cranberry or cranberry walnut chicken salad. They come in little mini cups or they may come in the big uh, little cup that they carry them in. If you have tried their chicken salad, if you have tried their uh, coleslaw, if you have tried their potato salad or their macaroni salad, leave me a comment in the description below. Leave, not description, but the comment section below just letting me know uh, how did they taste? Did you enjoy that? Uh, did you go back and purchase it? Do your family love it? Is it something easy for like weeknight meals or if you go on picnics? I am like trying to plan out a little picnic, like a mom and me picnic for me and my son. So I want something that I could just carry and we can eat and he can go play for the rest of the time and I just mingle with the moms and stuff like that so i just want something that's really easy simple that we can open i should have bought them and tried it but i was too iffy about it because i'm very iffy about chicken salad i just love to make my uh, chick-fil-a chicken salad and it's so freaking good if you guys want to see me make that chicken salad definitely leave me uh, a request in the comment section below because i'm going to start cooking on this channel as well i know you guys are kind of iffy about my cooking but that is okay you guys i want you guys to be open with me as much as i'm open with you guys and i'm going to be pushing out some stuff and y'all gonna be like what is this andrea michelle uh but enough of that i know you guys want to see what i got from all these and i am so happy to show you so let me show you the first two things that i got which is consists of fall um i am doing pretty much minimalist in my home for fall um so i bought a few things at dollar tree and then i bought just a little couple of snug goods since uh candle wax from all these today and i'm just gonna work with what I got um, because I don't want my house too fallish. Um, I still want to be comfortable and cozy in my home and just, you know, live a simple life here in Texas. Um, so I got the warm apple pie scent wax melts. Um, this is from H&H, &H, I guess. I got that one. And then I got the, I don't know if you guys can see it. I hope so. And then I got the fall night scented wax melt. And they smell so even through the package, they said they smell so amazing. So if you see these at your local Aldi's, definitely pick them up. Ooh, they smell so amazing, you guys. I just smell it. You can actually smell it through the package. Just, just smell it. <laughs> they smell so freaking good. So if you have a local Aldi's or if you got to travel, I'm so sorry to your local Aldi's. It is worth it. Like the prices at Aldi's, like if I had to know about Aldi's like way back when and all that stuff, I would have been like shopping at all these um i picked up some fresh sliced white um mushrooms um so i picked up some of those you guys as you guys well you guys probably don't know that i um i am on day two a pescatarian so i'm not eating like any kind of chicken or turkey now because i am a mother of a son boy mom hashtag um we know boys are picky girls are picky too but boys are oh my gosh but um i'm not going to let my make my son go pescatarian because his mom is going pescatarian i'm going pes 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 pescatarian for a reason to drop some weight and exercise while doing it so i'll be doing like a lot of walking and stuff like that so if you are deciding you want to lose weight or something and you want to do it the natural way without like supplements and stuff like that i do take my uh multivitamins and um they are so good and then i take my hair and nail vitamins they are so good but they are organic and a vegan um uh, vit multivitamins <laughs> Um, so yeah, but, um, and then the one that I was taking, I had just filmed the thing on it and I just got a, a order in from Amazon on the ones that I am trying and taking. Um, but I want to try them first before I even like share it with you guys and give you guys a good review on it because it's only been like day one and I don't know if it's going to work or not. But, um, yeah, I've been doing like the care for two days and it's been really, really good. I feel good. I feel fresh. I feel energized. Um, I just needed to get some, just some staples from the store that I needed for my pescatarian stuff but like i say i would not make my son do this i would definitely get chicken and tur ground turkey for him and he loves tilapia and stuff like that i don't eat shellfish because i'm very allergic to it i will like literally die okay so i would not eat any shellfish if you guys are uh curious to what meals i'm going to be making on my pescatarian journey then definitely leave me a comment requesting it in the comment section below and i definitely would try to get that video up for you guys um because i definitely want to share more with you guys besides my hauls um and whenever i go grocery shopping i definitely will share with you guys what i get what i got and what's here <laughs> so yeah i got the mushrooms from all these as well i'm gonna make some room on this counter girl because it's about to get full 
Uh, I got my son some more of these. I love these wheat things as well. These are the uh, sandwich skinnies, multi-grain, 100 calorie ones. These are so freaking good. Um, and then I did get some garlic and herb tilapia, which is this. This was only, um, the regular price would have been $6.79, but I got it for the price of $4.62. And this is just the fresh from all these garlic and herb tilapia fillets. And these are never frozen. So, yeah, I got some of that. I'm going to put the meat over here because I don't want to mix with any of the food. Uh, you guys know today is 9-11. And I just, man, I've been feeling some type of way all day. Like, my whole day has been, like, moving slow. Like, I just feel sad. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of people lost their lives, babies. I mean, like, grown people. Like, that was something that just, I just can't even, like, talk about it. It's just because it's so emotional. But my hearts are with the families as they're going through and my heart is with, with America um, and anyone else UK just say a prayer for them and everybody that you are around and just America and UK generally because you just I don't know man you just never know like stuff's just been happening and I'm from Texas and stuff been happening from Texas and it's just it's crazy man and but yeah, I just wanted to send my condolences out to each one of their family members that is going through, man. I can't tell you how they feel. I can't tell you that, but I can tell you how I feel. Like, I feel really sad. Like, today is not, like, one of my, like, energetic days. It's just, you know. Um, but anyways, enough of that. Um, I bought some chive and onion cream cheese from Happy Farms. And if you guys tried this, let me know. I've never tried it, but I'm just opening up my palette. I'm just opening up my palette and just trying some new stuff. I'm, I don't like dairy milk. I am very like, um, lactose intolerant. And I didn't read the, like, I didn't read anything the, ingredients or anything on this so I don't even know and it doesn't really state like if it has milk in it oh yeah it has milk pasteurized milk yeah it has milk in it so I'll probably just eat like a little at a time um and figure it out from there um because just a little bit won't upset my stomach but if I eat like a, a lot wow <laughs> like it's gonna be crazy up in here but <laughs> but um, I bought some of the Lovin' Fresh mini bagels these are the cinnamon raisin I've been looking on Instagram you guys you guys have been suggesting these and suggesting these and saying that they are so freaking good so I not only bought one I bought two I'm probably gonna share this one with my mom's uh, neighbor um, and because she loves bagels and stuff like that these right here how many calories are these first of all these are 120 calories, and it only recommends you to eat one of these. Um, you not guys know that a regular bagel is like over 200 some calories, but for it to be 120 for a mini size, I would run for those. <laughs> I would run for those any day. <laughs> um, so let me put these over here because my meat is over there. I don't want none of that. Okay. And then I got I love Kerrygold butter, so I want to find a. Y'all, my nose itching. Is somebody coming for me? Y'all, is y'all coming for me? Y'all really coming in to check this hole out for real? Because my nose is like itching. So like I was saying, I was, I'm was i a really, really big fan of Kerrygold butter. It Like, I love the Irish, like Irish butter. It's so freaking good. So I used to eat like just the regular like butter. But then when I tried the Irish butter, it was just like so soft. So like just... It tastes so freaking good. Like, so when I went to Aldi's, I was trying to find something more least expensive than the Kerry Gold because Kerry Gold butter can cost you about three to four dollars. Um, so I did find something that was Kerry Gold butter, and this was actually three dollars. So it's okay because I know that because it's an Irish butter, it's gonna be way expensive. So I did find one, and this is the Countryside Creamery. Uh, creamery a uh, pure Irish butter made with milk from grass-fed cows. So I'm gonna use this and see how it goes and see if I like it. But from just touching it, 
even in when it was in the refrigerator, it was like so soft. Like I was like, oh my gosh, it feels so soft. So um, I can't wait to try this. If this is in your local, um, all of these, definitely pick one up. I'll definitely give a review on it and sh let you guys know how it tasted or taste. <laughs> Um, I did get a couple of uh, four bananas. I gotta let them sit out for just a little bit. These are for my smoothies. Um, I'm gonna be having like smoothies for my breakfasts and stuff like that instead of just having like a normal breakfast. Sometimes, you guys, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I eat like once a day. Um, and it's not because I'm not even like doing intermittent fasting anymore uh, because I really don't need it because I've the intermittent fasting that I was doing, it trained my body to basically eat once a day. So now it's like, for breakfast, I can't even figure out what I want for breakfast or how I want to fix it. So I just kind of skip breakfast and then sometimes I skip lunch and then I eat dinner, which is really bad because you're really supposed to eat three times a day. Some people eat six times or seven times a day, but I just do the simplest thing uh, three times a day. Um, but I don't like to eat breakfast because most of the time I'm at work at that that hour I um, work super early and then for lunch it's just like you know you're scrambling to figure out what you're gonna eat so now I'm gonna start just prepping salads and stuff like that just to get my my day going you know um so if you guys want to see me prep full prep meal prep let me know in the comments below and just request some things and if you have an idea for me then let me know in the comment section below as well and if you like this video definitely Drop me a heart in the comment section because I love it and it motivates me to bring you guys more hauls in, okay? Um, so yeah, I found my son some of the Friendly Farms Moo Tubes. This is Bouncing Blueberry, Splashing Strawberry, and they're eight on the go uh, go -gurts, yogurts, or Moo, moo Tubes. <laughs> so I got these because my son really loves them and I really for him to have these, um, especially when he's at school. Um, he has those for lunch because they only really get 15 minutes to eat. So he's like trying to figure out how he's going to eat. But yeah. And then I found some vegan. I'm not vegan, but I am opening my palate and getting some options in on what I want to eat when I do become like vegetarian. Because I'm going through the process of pescatarian, vegetarian, then maybe vegan. But if I like being just, you know vegetarian then i'll just stick to what i know <laughs> um and i bought these earth from vegan asian veggie burgers i've never tried any of this so i hope that i like it it looks really good minus the pineapple on top <laughs> so um yeah that looks really good and then um I have a Kuna Crunch Veggie Burger, vegetable burger made with 10 different vegetables. And this is also the Earthworm Vegan Burger. So I'm into this. Like I, I, I was actually looking for some black bean patties, but I came across these and I was just like, okay. Um, and then also they had like some flame and broil, like Burger King type of burger, like Burger King type of patty, but it was just black bean and something else. And I was not like knowledge on what the other product what the other ingredient was so that's why i didn't get it uh, but if it just would have said like black bean then i would have just like got it um i did get some more of the um, northern harvest of the sea zesty lemon chunk um light tuna i'll probably have this for lunch and i may um vlog my lunch as well but whenever I do vlog like my meals and stuff, just know that my breakfast is not going to be like an actual breakfast unless I'm just super duper hungry. And then if I eat breakfast, I probably most likely won't eat lunch. So whenever I do like a what I eat in a day, something's not going to be there. And I'll probably have to explain to you guys again uh, why I didn't eat lunch or something like that. But if you guys want to see that, you know what to do. Drop your request in the comment section below. Um, and then I got some purple onions. I wanted some yellow onions because I love yellow onions and they're sweet. They're good. These are sweet and good too, but they made me cry. They made me cry. But, um, anyways, the other yellow onions don't make me cry. And I normally make my own little, if you go into Kroger's uh, grocery store, um, they have like these little season packs where you get them at the frozen section. And they have like the onions, the bell peppers, and the season in there. I kind of 
like I make my own so my own version of that um, so that I can have more um, and instead of just having just a little bit for like a day or two I'll have like this and I'll make some up and it'll last me like a week because I just use like a, a, hand, a nice size handful <laughs> Um, so I make that too as well. And then I got some of the Berry Hill US grade A Fancy Clover Honey for teas, for coffee because I'm not going to stop using like sugar and stuff like that. So I use this. They didn't have, at my local location, they have agave and then they had maple but it was just too pricey for me. So I went ahead and just got this and we're going to roll with the honey. Okay honey? Okay boo boo. <laughs> Uh, so I did find it got onion all on it, onion peels. Ugh. We'll be alright. Um, so I did find the raspberry lemonade and it was so good, you guys. Let me show you. Hold on just a second. Where is it? Oh, maybe it's gone, you guys. I don't know. Um, maybe my son finished it. Um, last night because he was wearing some but he really really likes that his is the raspberry lemonade and I haven't tried this one yet I love the mini made limeade so this is the limeade from Aldi's and this is nature's ne nectar no preservatives so I'm going to give it a try and I'm going to see if I like it and if I like it then I'll go back and get more and I got to go back to Aldi's to get my son's um, raspberry lemonade because he really likes that but hopefully he likes this and I have, I won't have to go back so um, I did grab some of the pure aqua Bella, Bella uh, B grapefruit sparkling water never tried it but I am willing to give it a try this was only like 34 cents or some change or something like that so I got it I did get my baby uh, my baby Queen Victoria cilantro so yeah, I love cilantro, you guys. I love it on everything. That is not sweet. <laughs> uh, and so I did get some tomatoes on the vine. They had a sale on these. It was like a dollar and some change. So I definitely went ahead and got these besides the um, snackable ones. And then I got some Taylor Farms uh, tree color coleslaw because I'm going to make some fish tacos today. I'm going to be filming that as well, too. Then I got some tree color rotini. Then I got pineapple. So I got some pineapple for my smoothies. I forgot to get some spinach. I forgot to get the mango. I forgot to get the peaches. I forgot. Okay. And then I got two avocados, y'all. So that is the end.